Postmaster General Louis DeJoy announced his sweeping, 10-year strategic plan for the U.S. Postal Service Tuesday, which will modernize the agency and address ongoing financial challenges but also likely will become a political flashpoint, as changes like longer delivery service standards are criticized by Democrats already fed up with existing mail delays under DeJoy's leadership. The plan, which DeJoy had long teased and has been in the works for months, will modify its first-class mail standards, which currently specify mail will be delivered within one to three days, noting that now only 70% of mail will be delivered within that standard, and 10% may now be delivered within a longer five-day standard. The agency will preserve six-day mail delivery and expand seven-day package delivery and optimize its transportation network, with a heavier reliance on transporting mail by ground instead of by air. USPS promises an electric vehicle fleet by 2035, Amid concerns by Democrats their current plans for new vehicles did not go far enough to incorporate electric vehicles, and plans to invest billions of dollars in its infrastructure and workforce. The plan suggests USPS will impose a modern, transformed network of post offices and may modify post office hours, a change the agency had previously backed down from amid opposition from lawmakers. USPS Board of Governors Chairman Ron Bloom, a Democrat, said at a press briefing Tuesday the plan was necessary to secure the agency's future, encouraging people to not make the perfect the enemy of the good and view the plan through that lens. DeJoy has defended his changes as necessary cost-cutting measures for the USPS despite the delays they're expected to cause, telling lawmakers at a February hearing the changes would result in only about 30% of first-class mail getting delayed and asking, does it make a difference if it's an extra day to get a letter? Democratic lawmakers have opposed DeJoy's plan given his history of imposing changes that have delayed mail. Senator Gary Peters, Democrat Michigan, and Rep. Carolyn Maloney, DNY, who chair the Senate Homeland Security and House Oversight Committees that oversee the USPS, respectively, both expressed concern in statements with the plan and its possibility for delays, with Maloney saying DeJoy's decision to move forward with service standard changes was unacceptable. Other Democrats were more biting in their criticism, Rep. Jerry Connolly, Democrat Virginia said DeJoy has put forth a draconian plan that guarantees the death spiral of the United States Postal Service, while Rep. Stephen Lynch, DMAS, said he wasn't sure how postal workers can view DeJoy's plans as anything other than a gratuitous slap. 95%. That's how much mail the USPS promises to deliver on time under its new plan. As of the week of March 12, USPS reported that 83.7% of first-class mail was delivered on time. Though that service figure suggests the Postal Service has recovered from crippling mail delays suffered during and after the holiday season, the Post notes the figure is still below where it was over the summer before DeJoy first imposed changes that slowed the mail, when 90% of mail was delivered on time. DeJoy has a history of imposing controversial changes at the USPS, after previously implementing measures over the summer to mail trucks and delivery trips that resulted in nationwide mail delays. Those changes were ultimately reversed in response to multiple court orders. The Postmaster General has developed a contentious relationship with Democratic lawmakers as a result, who accused DeJoy, a longtime GOP donor and Trump ally, of intentionally sabotaging mail in voting in the run up to the November election. DeJoy repeatedly denied this, and the agency ultimately implemented a number of measures to ensure on time ballot delivery. With President Joe Biden now in the White House, Democrats have launched a pressure campaign on the president to overhaul USPS leadership in an effort to oust DeJoy. More than 50 lawmakers signed a letter last week urging the president to fire all six Trump-appointed members of the USPS Board of Governors, who are the only ones with the power to fire DeJoy. DeJoy is likely to push forward with his changes to the agency in spite of Democratic opposition, particularly as his changes are backed by the USPS's existing board members. Biden has not yet signaled he has any intention to fire the Trump-appointed board members as many Democrats want, and while the president has named three nominees to fill vacancies on the board, they're unlikely to be seated in time to substantially block DeJoy's changes. NBC News reports the Senate is unlikely to consider the nominees until mid-April, after lawmakers return from recess.